Hey guys, welcome to another video by DJ's PRC. Today I wanted to take a couple of seconds here to show you how to paint a basic body uh, with just basic rattle cans and how to cut your body to prepare to be able to paint your body. Basically what you're going to need is body scissors, a reamer, an exacto or an exacto blade. Uh, there's a couple of ways you can do it. Uh, one of the ways is grabbing your exacto, a wedge blade or just an, uh, a flat blade is scoring around your body. Okay. And be able to snap it off or just kind of peel it off. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go a little bit closer to the camera for you guys. And it's going to be hard for you guys to be able to see it here because I don't have any backing. But you're going to take your exacto, and basically you're going to follow your lines slowly. Okay, maybe once or twice. And you're just going to be able to almost break it off or peel it off. Okay. Or if you're not, if you're not sure to do it with an exacto, basically you could grab your scissors and... Again, same thing, you just follow your lines on your body. And you just go around. Some people prefer to use the scissors completely everywhere. I prefer a little bit of the scissors and a little bit of the exacto because the exacto will make a better cut and a cleaner cut. But when you're cutting it, take your time and you'll get used to it after a while. Actually, remove this piece here. And you flip your body a little bit around. Sorry guys, if you can't really see. Because this is an axial body and this body is extremely flimsy. And you just go around and making sure you remove the line completely. And the fender is done and you just continue doing the rest of the body if you're doing with scissors now with the physical exacto takes a little bit more time because you have to take your time because you don't want to basically cut your body and a second here uh, basically when you're doing with the exacto you're doing your line and you whoop, you do a whoops and go beside it to scratch up your body now the other thing too you have to remember outside this body here there is a plastic protective film and out on the outside that you need to keep it there once your body's finished painting that's where you're going to remove this film this is just a pre protective when you're painting for the overspray what i'll do right now i'll finish cutting this and I'll be right back. Finished cutting the body all around, made sure everything was fine. And the other step I didn't film, I didn't show, is once I cut the physical body, what I did is I washed the body uh, with uh, soap and water, rinsed out the complete inside and making sure there's no grease from my fingers, things like that. Because uh, if you don't do this step, is basically if there's any grease, your paint will have fish eyes, things like that. Make sure to clean my hands after. Now what we're gonna do is the interior masking uh, for your windows. Now let's say you want all your windows to be the color of your body or put them black. You can just spray over them and you'll be fine. But in this one, we, this is not what we want. In the kit came with the uh, masking. Now putting the masking on is a little bit fun. Is grabbing the body and finding the correct uh, window mask. Now the window mask goes inside the body, not outside the body. 
make sure to grab the correct one where they go. We'll grab the passenger door. I'm just gonna put this aside here. And basically you just align it, the interior of your window. And you're trying to put it the best as you can. And once it's on, make sure to push completely to seal the sides. Because once you're painted, you don't want any bleeding. And we got one done. We'll grab one of the backs. Let's try to put them straight as possible. Now what I'm assuming here, this guy has a direction. Now there's another way to be able to do this that I'll show you guys in a second here. And I'm making sure to press completely down on the tape. Now it may not be perfect, but you try to make it as perfect as possible. The other product I do use is basically liquid mask. Uh, it's from Bob uh, Devilly, model aircraft. This product, what's fun about it is you apply it with a foam brush and it makes a mask inside. You put three coats. First coat, you let it dry. Then the second coat, the same thing again, you let it dry. And the third coat, again, you let it dry. And what happens, it puts an interior film. And basically, once your film is, is, is applied, it becomes transparent and you can physically see through the body. Now you can take an X-Acto knife, this kind of knife here, and from inside, you can cut out the windows or the shape you wanted. But let's say you wanted to make a design. Just grab a Sharpie, and basically what you do is you make your design. Uh, let's say we want to make a square here on the door. Not sure if you guys can see it. And you're doing something here. Or even here you could. Whatever you want. Now, basically with the liquid mask, you would turn the body around, grab your X-Acto, and cut up your shape. And just removing that film. When you do this with the uh, ma liquid mask, you barely put any pressure, barely, because you don't want to scratch the physical body itself and you'll see the lines on the other side. Then once it's done, you just peel that piece, be able to shoot over it, let it dry, then remove the rest of the mask to be able to shoot the other color. Now in this video, this is not what we're gonna do. We're just gonna shoot the vehicle in one color. The other thing too, if you guys do a design and basically you don't do your design correctly, you're not, you're not stuck. Just grab basically a tissue and some alcohol, rubbing alcohol. This will remove from the body right, with no issues. I should have some left here. And I'm barely putting any pressure and the design is off. Now what I'll do, I'll finish masking the windows and I'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm back. I finished doing all the windows. 
I made sure all of my corners are pressed correctly. Now, is this going to be, uh, could, you could kind of see it, see a bubble right here. That's okay. That doesn't matter. Because you want to make sure all the seams are pressed completely. That way you won't have any bleeding. The other step we need to do before going on paint, we need to make body, body post uh, holes. Now in this body here, it is indicated where they go. Let's say your vehicle doesn't have the, uh, for the vehicle, I mean the body doesn't have the holes. Now is the best time to grab your body. I'll go grab the vehicle here. What you would do is grab your vehicle and physically put the body on top of it. And once it's on top, you'll be able to see where your body post goes. Okay, you make sure to align it where it needs to go exactly on the body. Then you grab a Sharpie and go with the Sharpie and just mark where they go. Same thing for the back ones. Once that's done, you basically take your body, remove your vehicle, grab your body reamer and make your holes. Now I'm going to grab the body reamer, go where the holes are. Make my holes. Now what I'm doing here, I'm not doing the hole 100% the, the correct size. And the reason is, it's just going to be easier after to be able to do it. I prefer doing it that way. Because right now, once it's painted, it, they're a little bit harder to see where they go. Okay, here's our fourth one here. And let's say you don't have a body reamer. You could get one uh, fairly cheap with scissors sometimes. There's a kit. This is a Team Lucy that I have. Worst case scenario, if you don't, you can use a drill bit. Now make sure there's no plastic pieces inside. We're gonna flip the body upside down, take our can, and start shooting. Now, do make sure you are in a well ventilated place because you, yeah, the fumes are not good for you, okay? If you're in an, an open garage, make sure your garage door is open. I do have a window open here, we're fine. And basically, you're gonna go fine coats. You don't wanna go heavy coats. Simple reason, you don't want any bleeding or runs. Now I'm using a Timia can, PS paint. They're made for a polycarbon. Because if you use just normal paint, what's gonna happen, it doesn't stick correctly, doesn't flex, and it's gonna come off. And you just go around like coats. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to let this dry and I'm going to come back. Okay, I'm back guys. Basically what I just did, I just went all around the body. 
I still need to add some because there's places when I look to the light, I still see through it. Depending on the goal you're trying to achieve, uh, you could basically leave it that way if you wanted to. Or the other thing you could do if you wanted to, you could go around with another can. I do have another one here to put a little bit darker. The other trick you could do is back it with black or gray or even white if you wanted to. Now with your backing, it will play with the color you wanted to achieve. Now black is going to be darker blues. Uh, if you go white, it's going to be a little bit, a little bit of a lighter white or a gray. It's a, a little bit of in between. Always depends what you want to achieve. Now what I'm going to do here, uh, I'm going to continue a little bit with this can here and I'll see the way it goes. And I might just turn around and back it with the black, uh, depending on the look it's going to be. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm not to board you guys. We're basically just seeing me spraying some paint around. Uh, I'm going to be back. Now we're, I'm finished with the blue. And what basically there's no bleeding where the windows are. That's what, what we physically want on all sides. But what I want to do now is back it off with some black. Uh, what the black does, it will seal the paint and put it a little bit darker. And that way, if for a certain, through certain light, you won't see through it. Because the paint is a little bit transparent. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Probably not, but it is transparent a bit. Now backing with the, the black, it will solve that issue. And the other thing we'll do is darken the blue a bit, put it a little bit darker. Shake the can. And you don't need to go extremely a bigger a thick coat on this. You just want to be able to seal it. But again, make sure you are in a well vented Painted place, ventilated. Can't even speak anymore. Because the fumes are not good for you. And you just want to make sure to cover everywhere. And if it does happen to this point to put a little bit too much, that's okay because it won't show because your primary color is already applied. I'm just going to see here to put it everywhere. There's places I still see and through it because of my light I have on the side here. I think we're pretty much done. Now what I'll do, I'll let this dry and I'll show you the end result in a couple of seconds here or two. Now the, the inside is all black. In the meantime, I was drying, I did oversize my uh, body holes, the correct size for the body post. Now, basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove the interior film. And these here, sometimes they're a little bit of pain. I'm 
going to be hard for you guys to see it. And you have one window done. And don't go too crazy when you're removing these. Go slowly. Because sometimes you can, when the paint is still fresh, you're going to remove your paint. And if you didn't put it correctly, you'll have a little bit of bleeding. There is just, it's not bleeding on this guy here. I don't know if you can physically see it. But there's a little bit of, uh, when I remove the tape, like a, it's hard to say exactly, but a little bit of, uh, of the paint came, went on the window itself. But basically, you need to remove the masking. Now we're going to do the windshield. And I don't know if you notice or not, I did not remove the exterior film yet. And there's a reason for that. And the reason is because I'm moving the body upside down to prevent the plastic from scratching. Try to keep the body nice until it gets run with the vehicle. The other thing you could do once your windows masks are removed, Timio makes some uh, smoke, it's called. You can tint the tint your windows if you want them tint tint them. If you don't want them uh, transparent, it gives the truck a different look doing that that way. Now for today, I did not did not do it. but you could do it. There you go, all the masking's out. Now what we're going to do is remove the exterior film and we'll find out what this body looks like exactly with no film. It's like unwrapping a gift at Christmas. Come on. And there you go, guys. A shiny blue Cherokee body. Not bad, not bad. Now, if you guys have any comments or questions, post them down below. I'll be glad to answer you guys. 
And if you like this video, hit that smash button, the like button in the corner, hit it. And don't forget to subscribe, guys. Thank you very much.